Hey there. Uh, today, just running through some of the differences that um, physical differences I can see between uh, two semi-flexible solar panels. One is a, um, a cheaper panel, and another one's a more expensive version. Um, so they're the same. They're the same panels on paper. Yeah, just just from different manufacturers. So I'll run through just the physical differences I can see between the two um, without going into any sort of in-depth performance test or, um, you know, or the real test, which would be to put them out in the weather for a few years and see how they go. Um, but you know, I found a lot of notable um, physical differences between them just by looking at them. So you see the panels just over here, the back of my ute. Um, so yeah. So this is the, the more expensive panel, this is the, the cheaper panel. As I was saying, on paper they're, they've, uh, they're the same performance, they're using the same cells and the same number of cells, so they're sun power cells, um, they're 100, I think 110 watts or around about um, theoretical power. Um, so yeah, the first thing I can see is they're both encapsulated in ETFE. Um, but I can definitely see a difference um, in the, the look of this panel to this panel. This panel is a lot, um, is a lot more shiny, I guess. Um, the cells are a little bit uh, lighter colour, and uh, compared to this, this is a more of a matte um, material. It feels slightly different to this material. This feels a bit sort of smoother, I think, than this one. Very sort of non-scientific, non-scientific, um, I guess. Uh, details and differences, but there is obviously a difference in the grades of ETFE material used. Um, I know for a fact that this company uses uh, high quality ETFE made in Japan or the USA. I'm not exactly sure where this uh, material is made. That's just uh, yeah the first the first sort of thing that I noticed. Um, the second thing are the cells. Now these claim to use both use genuine sun power cells. Um, there are a lot of uh, companies out there, or, or a lot of panels being sold, claiming to use genuine sun power cells, and uh, I think that that's not um, that's not true. Or they claim to use sun power, maybe not genuine. And I believe the way that the sun power um, works is they create um, their cells, and they're all tested, and they've got certain grades. And when they don't meet a grade, um, they're discarded to another pile. That pile is then uh, sold off and ends up in um, being bought by manufacturers in China. And yeah, sometimes I think those cells there may not be anything wrong with them other than they didn't meet the, the power output um, required by Sun Power's um, grades. But sometimes there also is issues um, with the cells uh, that could um, can lead to like the hot spotting and. Um, you know, or, uh, or failure of the cell that you know leads to it burning out. Um, that you might see in photos on online of different cheap quality semi-flexible cells. So, anyway, both of these are, uh, claim to use genuine sun power cells. You can't really tell from here, other than um, you know testing them out for extended periods. The third thing I've just noticed is that when I was testing these out in the sun in the heat, um, that this panel started has warped. And that's, that's because they were both overhanging, but because um, uh, I didn't have a wide enough um, a rack for these to be sitting on. But yeah, this panel is warped and it's recovered a little bit. But yeah, you can definitely see the difference between the two if I come over here. Um, but yeah, that they've, they've definitely, there's, this one is warped and it's not recovered. And this uh, panel has had a little warp in it. Um, a little overhang just from the weight, but it never really changed. It never warped anymore, and it uh, and it's yeah, it's fully recovered. There's been no issue with it. Um, so that tells me that the backing material used in these panels is is, is of different quality. Um, obviously, this one's using a, a better quality material in the um, as a as a support backing material, um, and this one's used a lower quality material. So, so uh, that's another difference there. I'll jump up now and I'll bring them actually around and have a look at the, the junction boxes. I think this is really, really important and a really big a key difference that I've uh, seen between the two. Um, <clears throat> so I guess I've seen this style on on eBay and, and whatnot quite a lot. Um, it's got that PVXC502 written on it. 
Um, and just looking at the, the box itself, I mean, it, it's, the plastic seems a little bit light and a little bit, I guess, cheap um, just by looking at it. It's been sealed on there pretty well. Um, there's a bit of goop. Some of the, I had multiple of these panels. Some of the goop is a bit rough around, not really very professional. Jumping over, this one's got, um, definitely got a different sort of junction box. Feels a lot more solid. Um, it's really neatly mounted on the, on the panel. It's got IP65 on the cover, 4mm TUV, so it's obviously passed um, some sort of TUV standard, 1000 volt DC. Uh, it feels just a, little, a lot more solid, I guess, uh, and, and feel, it just has a different feel. But I, I guess more importantly, when you pop inside and take a look at what's actually inside the, uh, the junction boxes is probably more important. Um, you'll see in here, uh, in this one, that it's, it's fairly rough, the soldering, to be honest. Um, and um, yeah, there's no, there's no sort, there's no infill, no, um, no infill, no, uh, no, no silicon or anything in there to seal this up. Um, there's, uh, there's a little seal around the cap, which you might be able to see. Um, but these lids were coming off really quite easily. I actually had another one of these panels, and the lid just came off for no reason, uh, or been knocked, and it fell off really easily. And I think after any sort of period of time, if this isn't good quality um, plastic, this, the seal or whatever it's sitting out in the sun would probably deteriorate. And if you get moisture in here, there's nothing like protecting this in here. So, you know, I guess that can definitely be uh, a point for concern, causing issues down the track. Um, uh, when you look over it, this, um, the other junction box here, it's, you can't even see inside, but it's been fully sealed with uh, some sort of silicon or, or whatever that uh, goop is. So if moisture does get into there, uh, it's not going to do anything because it can't reach any of the, um, the contacts or the wires in there. So, I mean, that's just a very, very uh, big um, difference, I think, in, in um, you know, overall make and design of the panels. <clears throat> then I guess the other thing that I can see... Uh, <coughs> With the, with the panels uh, is the connectors. So, I don't know, I've, I've seen both cheap and uh, better connectors and I can tell you that the connectors on here are ten times better than these ones. These are a lot lighter plastic. Um, you only got to plug them in and out a few times and you'll definitely see the difference. These are a lot more heavy duty. Um, yeah, they feel, you know, they feel a lot stronger and uh, much easier when you... you oh, much stronger feeling when you're connecting and disconnecting. The wires are, again, they're different completely. Um, this one's a lot thicker. You can sort of see some sort of braiding or similar. I don't, I don't really, I can't really tell. Oh, no, it's not braiding. It's just indents, but, you know, it's a thicker cable um, and it feels a lot better, a lot stronger than this cable. Um, so, yeah, that, I guess that's just some of the, uh, the differences that I can see between the two. So yeah, I guess to summarise, um, if I was if I needed to mount a semi-flexible panel outdoors, I would probably not even consider using the cheaper panel. I think it would be far too prone to, to failure um, or performance issues down the line once it's been exposed to weather for a long time, especially in Australia and in in the summer. Um, and yeah, and, and hopefully that gives you a, a better idea of why one is more expensive than the other. I mean, when you line all the materials up, like the backing material, the ETFE, the solar cells, um, the, the solar, solar tabs between the cells, the junction box, the cabling, connectors, uh, and you've got a cheaper option and a more expensive option for all those materials, and you go for the more expensive option on all of those materials, you know, the price of it is going to be a lot more than the cheaper option. Um, and even coming down to the manufacturing processes used, um, I, I can't, I can't tell, you, tell you the differences between those, but I know that you know, the better quality companies have different processes and, and, yeah, and use probably more experienced people, etc., blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so all I could say really is that if you needed to use these, I would be 100% looking at a better quality um, panel. And if you didn't have the budget, I would be looking at standard glass aluminium frame panels for sure because they're going to last longer than these anyway uh, even a higher quality um, they're heaps cheaper the, the only downside is they're heavier bigger but yeah 
they're going to last heaps longer and, and they're definitely your best bang for buck. So I hope that helps uh, if you're looking at um, buying these in your decision making process and uh, cheers.